Well, this is our salute to Old Glory, and it is red, white, and blue through and through. And Nancy, we're going to put a spin on this, aren't we? Yes, we are. Normally, if you get a shaped cake pan, you bake the layer, and it looks like this. You can use star tip, and um, and that's a nice cake. It's a nice cake, but we're really going to do it up uh, big this time because we're actually going to start with coloring our layers. And with that, I hear some cake batter, and I'm just going to use a small amount of cake batter to show. And you want to get some icing color. And okay. I like to use paste color because it's thicker and uh, doesn't dilute your batter, so it doesn't mess up your recipe. You can just use a cake mix if you want to. And it, you can it see is how pretty vibrant, that red. Yeah. And this blue, which is the finished product, but once you slice into the blue cake, it does have a true blue color And let's color do that. Now, see, this okay. is baked up where it's kind of rounded across the top. We want to cut the crown off. And this is a shaped pan, just mm -hmm. to let you know it is the flag. It's a shaped pan. And you can take it out of the pan and take the crown off. I like to take it, uh, cut the crown off in the pan. See, you do have some nice intense blue We're going to do a there. red layer and a blue layer. Because what right? happens okay. is then when we actually put this on top of the cake, you don't have that rounded part in the middle so it doesn't crack. So you want it level. It just okay. makes it a lot easier. And then, for the surprise ingredient, for, yes. we go to the freezer. We have taken some ice cream. And just so you know, you can do this with just one pan. You don't have to have three different pans. No, you can, you can, you bake can it. freeze your layer if you want to. we got a lot of frost there. And that's the reason I like to wrap it in plastic. Two reasons. One is because okay. ice cream is actually kind of absorbent of other flavors. And the other reason is because um, it's easier to get out of the pan because you can see we're just kind of lifting it. Okay. So let's just take it out and peel this back. Tell me what I can do to help you here. Yeah. This looks yummy. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna you pull up and I'll, if you want okay. me to take it out, I'll hang on to this. You getting ready to move yeah. to the red? Yeah, I am. I want to make it? sure it doesn't crack. But if okay. it cracks, we can just kind of piece I'll just it back grab together. That. How about that? And then you want to make sure you line it up right. Okay. You know, look at your stars, make sure your stars are in the right spot. And if you have any excess, you can always trim it off, right? Yeah, you can trim okay. it if you want to, or you can just ice around it. Okay. Then let's take our blue layer. Pull that out of the pan. Look at you. How graceful is that? And then just put that on top. And you just want the waves to follow one yeah. another. All on the that. stars are up here at the top. Okay. And then I have my buttercream covered so it didn't get too crusty. crusty right? And then what you do, I'm just going to ice part of it, is you just put a whole bunch of icing here. Because this is a big cake. Yes, You're talking this is about a big cake. You could feed a big party with this, but this would be great in the summer months when it's so warm outside. Just well, you bring, it out, right, bring it out but at the last minute. Right, bring it out at the last minute. But you can see here, I'm just kind of pulling my, I put some buttercream on there. Let me pull okay. that away. And you can see you just kind of finished it off there. Okay. And the buttercream kind of seals in the, the yeah, ice cream for a so little bit. So it'll stay kind of hard. Now, you could ice the top in white if you wanted to, but you can also just, this is blue, and we're going to make the background for the stars. Make and this sure is buttercream also. Okay. Yeah, this is buttercream. Make sure you have a clean star for the tip. And you're going to just... Do the star pattern? Yes, and put it together so that it's closely knit, and then you don't see that you didn't put the white icing on there. And you can also use the tube dicing. The tube dicing, just if in you case don't you don't want to do it. that, right? Okay, I think you've kind of got the idea. Okay. And then for our white stars on top, I'm using just a little bit of a bigger star tip. And how long did you bake your cakes? How long does it normally take to bake? Oh, a cake about cake? 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. Now, if I were going to do my stripes. You have to do a little pretending that this is all filled in. But I've got another star tip here, and this is an 18. And you can see this is where it would start, is you just squeeze and walk along the side. And you can see the lines here of where the indentation is for the cake. Right. So it's going to take about three rows of 18 to fill in that red layer. So, so you need blue icing, white icing, red icing, mm -hmm. and some star tips. Mm-hmm. So there's your. Okay. Um, How did you color stripe? that icing? Is that just with the same paste the color? The same paste color. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let's cut into this one. I'm going to cut a big piece because it makes it a little easier to cut into. You can probably see it also. The red, yeah. white, and blue. I'll hold it for you. How about okay. that? Okay. Well, let me turn it. Okay. I can feel the chill. Mm. Okay. I can. I'm going to touch the top for you. Can you all see but look this? Look at how impactful that, that is when you actually serve it. Now I'm going to go over here and show you some other layers. Hold on. I'm going to show people okay. what we've sliced because I think that is so impressive. 
See, and, and the uh, ice cream is about the same layer size as what your cake layers are. Okay. Isn't that, doesn't that, wouldn't that, everybody just say, wow. They would, and you go work, and I'll go ahead and taste okay, this. I'm okay, I'm going to finish up over here with some gelatin delights. And these are cute little salad. Now, I've put a red layer in the bottom with just red gelatin. Mm -hmm. Now, the white layer is unflavored gelatin, Cool Whip, and water. And then I've just got my blue gelatin here. And so you, you put one layer down, you refrigerate yes, it Yes, absolutely. You want to make hours. sure it's very hard. And then you pour your other layer on. So it has to congeal for, what, several hours or overnight? Yeah, no, it doesn't need to be that long. I would say probably okay. three to four hours. And then you just put that on top. And then I have some that are already done here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just use a cake board. So they're not difficult. They are time-consuming, though. Just yeah, it So you have to plan ahead. It doesn't take long. It's easy. But you got to wait in between. So okay. you can see you, they'll just flip out because it's gelatin. And then, you know, this would be cute like on an individual plate if you wanted to serve it that way. And um, the kids love uh, jigglers, any kind of gelatin item. Uh -huh. They love to use cookie cutters and cut out. So uh, this would be and great this is for cute. some This would be just a nice refreshing salad that you could use uh, for a pool party, a barbecue, you know, virtually anything. You're really making uh, a dent into that cake, aren't you? Well, you know what? If it wasn't good, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. You need to try this one. It's impressive. It's easy. And it would be the hit of the next party.